Did the doctor say how long she'd be? No. Well, so what do we do in the meantime? We just wait. How many more times are they going to keep trying? They're not. This is it. She's... She's going to wake well, up. And what if she doesn't She's going to wake up today, all right? She has to. You have any luck upstairs? This is a nice place you got here. What are you doing? Well, tried knocking, but no one answered. Uh, I said, get out, and I'm going to tell you again. Uh, There's nothing. Apart from a couple of Jay's dodgy DVDs. You know we had company? He's just leaving. I'm here for Ronnie. Over the road, number 27. Except she ain't there right now. Wolf of Gemma. Had a bit of a car accident. Who's that? Trouble. Where did that come from? What? That, Rose. Oh, I don't know, Billy and Lola must have come in. Look at you. Just lying there, hmm? You get the easy job, don't you? I'm the one who has to tell Matthew where his mummy is. <sighs> Why aren't you fighting this, Ron? I need you here. Knocking some sense into me. Why can't you just do as you're told for once in your life? My team are ready whenever you are. As you know, the ventilator has allowed Ronnie's body and heart to be artificially oxygenated. So unless Ronnie starts breathing for herself, we have to accept the possibility that there could be damage to her brain, which is irrecoverable. It's like your sister's a fighter, Miss Mitchell. She started breathing for herself. <laughs> Ron, Ron, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You stubborn old cow. <laughs> They say how long she's going to be in there for. Who cares? She's going to be OK, Charlie. Why aren't you excited? I am. I, am. I just can't believe we got her back. She can't ever know about us, you know that, don't you? I know. Well, that matters, it's here and now. Okay, and you and me. I know, I get it, Charlie. It never happened. <laughs>